Hello guys, welcome back to Jazz Tutorials. I want to apologize in advance if the, if the quality of the volume on the video is horrible. Um, for some reason my microphone's not working properly, so I have to do a dub over on my microphone from my iPhone. It, it's a whole bit, it's a long story. But anyways, so yeah, um, we're making a jelly text effect. We've done something like this before, but I took some ideas from other people and my own ideas and made it into one video. And now it's going to be radical and awesome. So I hope you guys will stick around and watch this lovely video. And I hope you will like it. So right now I already have my um, my J already made, as you'll notice. Um, and you can pick any color you like. I'm using Arial Black for the font. Um, which works really well with this tutorial. Um, so pick any color you like. I'm just using purple. You can pick whatever. And you want to also make sure that your background on this is white. Um, that shows best for this tutorial. So next what we're going to do is we're going to be double clicking on this lovely layer here on our text layer and we're going to be adding a few settings. So we're going to start by adding a drop shadow on this particular layer and of course the drop shadow will be the color of your choice that you have for your main layer. So I have purple so I'm going to do a purple color. But pick your own color for this suits your letter. And the settings are standard, I believe, um, so leave them there. Alright, and we're going to now have to probably duplicate this layer a few other times, but I'll go through with that step by step as we do that. So next, what you'll see there is you'll see that's what the drop shadow looks like. Um, and then we're going to go over here. And we're going to add some other stuff. Um, so we've duplicated that, that layer by the way. So duplicate your text layer and you can clear the layer styles by right clicking it because we're going to add some more layer styles to this to this lovely one here. So to start we're going to now add a new layer above that and this is going to we're going to add some like um, shadows, highlights and stuff to this layer. So go ahead and make a new layer and then select a soft round brush um, that you like. Um, I'm using 90 pixels, but you can use any size that suits your um, size of the of the letter you're using or your whatever you're doing. And then you'll go here with the brush tool, and you're gonna want to select light and dark colors that suit the color you're choosing. Obviously, I've chosen purple, so we're going with a light purple to start with, and we're gonna place them randomly across the top here. We're gonna towards the end, we're gonna then merge this entire layer onto the previous layer, which was our letter layer. So there you go, there's my dark um, purple there. So now over here to my layers palette, click that. We're now going to click on the thumbnail of our previous layer, like we've done in previous videos, to make that active. And then we're going to mask it into that brush set. So the brush goes only onto the letter and it's not anywhere near the um, anything else there. And you could erase it if you want to, but that just takes too much time. So it's easier if you do the whole mask layer thing. Voila! Alright, now let's merge those two into one layer. So click on both of those. First one, second one. And do a command or control E, and that will merge into one layer. Oh yay! Okay, awesome sauce. You want to also make sure that you set that one to screen at some point. In case you don't already know that. Yeah. Alright! Sweet Jesus, we're always there. Then going back to our main layer again, the main letter layer, you're going to duplicate that another time. And like we did before, we're going to clear the layer styles on that one because we're going to add our own layer styles to this one. So now double click that one once you've gotten rid of the layer styles. And you're going to add these here. We have a gradient overlay. And of course the gradient's going to be a light to dark to light color. Purple is my choice, so that's what mine looks like, but yours will be different if you're choosing different colors. So kind of go with that kind of a hue setting. Alright. Sweet. Alright, so you get the gist. Purple, purple, light, dark, all that. Alright. And you'll leave all of that basically much the same. No need to change that. Four kind of angle. Blah, blah, blah. You know the whole bit, right? Now we're going to add satin, and we have linear dodge selected, and I've chosen purple for a color choice. And I over I have over here um, 45 degree angle, 
And then over here, I have these settings here, if you can see them. <laughs> and then I have invert selected because I like to invert things once in a while. So we're going to go with that. Um, click OK. We're going to go there. And then um, we have another layer. We're going to add another layer. Oh, what's that? I don't know. There we go. Yeah. So set that layer to screen. There you go. Sweet. That was a layer I said previously. You should set the screen. Yeah, I did it now, but I said it earlier. Okay, so now let's go and add some more cool things. What the heck is that layer doing? I don't know. Delete. Bye. Bye, Felicia. I don't know what you did there. All right, so now we're gonna add our final installment of this tutorial, and this is going to be the final layer. So go ahead and duplicate that lovely letter one more time, guys, once more. And then clear the layer styles like we've done previously. Double click, and we're gonna start over here with bevel and a boss, inner bevel, smooth technique, directions up, we have 111%. 6 for the size, soften 0, uncheck use little light, we have all of that jazz right there, and we have screen for our highlight with the white color, 100% opacity, and the shadow mode is black with multiply, but we have a 0% opacity, so it's not really going to show anything, so it's okay there. Then, um, after we've done all of that stuff, let's move forward. Now, we're going to have this one here. And I selected this color of purple, but you'll, of course, choose your own to suit your color. And this is an inner shadow, and we have 40%, uh, well, I don't know, excuse me, 80% on that. And 6 for my distance, 20 for my size, choke, and the size is 18. Next, we have this here, inner glow, and this is basically standard, guys. One thing I'm changing is the opacity, which is 60%. And color dodge is my shadow blend mode. And my size is 3. And choke is 0. And then last but not least, I have satin on this one. And we have overlay for our setting. And I've chosen... Why is it blue? We have purple, guys. What the heck's wrong with me? So check them. <laughs> Click on a color of choice that you have for yours. And we have a 90% opacity... 90 degree angle, 20 pixels, and 20, no, 30 pixels for our distance and 20 for our size. And then you'll select a contour that is this one here. I think it's called Rolling Slopes, if I remember correctly. It's a preset. If it's not there, just hit Low Contours and you'll see it. But it's definitely a preset in Photoshop, I guarantee you. So do all that. So once you have followed all those steps and those settings like you see there, make that visible. And oh, look at that. It's so pretty. And I've set that layer, I believe, to screen. And there you go. Cool, awesome jelly effect. That is the tutorial, guys. It couldn't be more simpler. So thank you for liking, commenting, and all that stuff. If you do, Team Awesome is amazing. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, concerns, whatever, comment below. Um, please give it a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you haven't before. I like new people. I like you guys. You guys are amazing. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week with another cool and awesome video. Bye!